Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Star Citizen. So guys, thank you so much for joining me for another Star Citizen video. And look at this. Such an awesome looking planet, Hurston. I love Hurston, guys. But the subject of today's video, guys, is the Drake Caterpillar. Not just any Drake Caterpillar, but this is the Drake Caterpillar Pirate Edition. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Drake Caterpillar Pirate Edition. Have a look at this. So again, this is uh, hmm, not a very, very rare ship. Have a look at these awesome footsteps. This is why I love Star Citizen. <laughs> the attention to detail. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm in the middle of nowhere in the largest sandbox map in any game. And look at this. I'm leaving footprints on the sand. <laughs> they do disappear. They disappear after a while. But it looks amazing. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Drake Caterpillar Pirate Edition. Now, right now, for some reason, let me go ahead and check the uh, frame rates again for you. So, at this very moment, I'm getting 41 frames per second. 41 frames per second. For some reason, the servers are so good. Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock on wood. The servers are so good at the moment in Star Citizen, right after the IAE. So, IAE has concluded... Um, I think there's there's less people there's less people playing but the servers are so good you guys can see this is 40 45 frames per second just before just before I came down here to land I was getting 56 56 frames per second Wow this is good anyways the Drake caterpillar pirate edition so again just like the gladius I own this one too, so I, I bought a pack, I bought a pack that has both of these two ships in it, uh, yeah, so this is again, uh, pretty rare, pretty rare, not, not as rare as the Gladius, you see these things flying around, so this is the Pirate Edition, this is the Pirate Edition, now the only difference between this and a normal Caterpillar, again, just like the Gladius Pirate, is just the paint job, and that is it. So just a, just a cosmetic difference between this and a normal Caterpillar. Now, I did a review for the Caterpillar a long time ago. So I'd say five years ago, I did a video for the Caterpillar a long, long time ago. But I sadly no longer have that video on this new channel. So when I moved over the videos, I didn't move over that Caterpillar video. There was some complications. There was some copyrighted... Um, animations and stuff like that that I had for my older channel uh, so yeah that video is gone so I can do a new caterpillar review and it's a good thing to be honest because back then I had a pretty low quality mic um, I didn't know what I was doing I was super nervous <laughs> so I can do a much better caterpillar review now but today's video is not going to be really a review as such of the Caterpillar. It's just to, to see you guys a, a look-see, to show you guys a look-see of the Caterpillar uh, Pirate Edition. So again, uh, I think just like the Gladius, as I said, this is a missed opportunity for Star Citizen, for CIG. If they wanted to, um, if they wanted to, you know, create these unique ships that you have to earn... Again, obviously, okay, so let me start from the beginning. If you want to earn this ship, if you want to be able to buy this ship, you need to complete Arena Commander um, Pirate Swarm. So you need to complete Pirate Swarm in multiplayer, and then you'll be able to buy this and the Gladius once you get the Aggressor Badge. So once you get the Aggressor Badge, then you can buy this. Now, as I was saying, this is a missed opportunity for, for CIG. They should have added something more to this ship, to this and the Gladius, right? Because they're the Pirate Edition, maybe a, a different loadout, maybe something different, like a different weapon, different weapon stations, or something um, like very different cosmetically in the interior of the ship. Something, something to make it stand out, except for just a paint job, you know what I mean? Although, I, having said that, I really like this paint job. This looks so good. It's like it's black with bits of red and yellow. So yeah, the Caterpillar, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know about the Caterpillar, this is probably the best 
the best cargo carrying ship in the game right now. So it has two turrets, one on the bottom, size 5 guns, one on the top again with two size 5 guns, and of course you have the cab here. The cab detaches from the main body. The cab is also armed with four guns. Uh, I believe they're size threes now. They're either size twos or size threes. So yeah, let's go ahead and go inside. There are some differences, minor cosmetic differences on the inside as well. But I'm really loving this this 50 frames a second, almost 60 frames a second experience in Star Citizen. So yeah, this is currently the best cargo hauling ship. Now speaking of cargo hauling ship, oh check this out. Man, this looks good. This game looks so much better when your frames are higher. When the servers are performing better, the game looks better. Check this out. Wow, that looks good. <laughs> So yeah, um, speaking of cargo carrying ships, so the 30k problem has essentially been resolved now. Like you can, if you crash, if you're carrying cargo and you crash, you can recover your cargo pretty much. You can recover your cargo, so 30k's for the most part have been defeated. They still exist, 30k's still happen, but if you're carrying cargo, the good thing is you, you can recover your cargo you won't lose anything. How awesome does that look? This is the tractor um, tractor beam operating station. So the differences on the inside cosmetically is that these these metal bars are painted red. Everything is black normally, I think, in the inside, but now this thing just has a red paint job on the frames, on these uh, metal frames. Now when walking inside the uh, the, the driving module, the, the command module, as you guys can see, there's a thick uh, double-sided blast door separating the two ships, the, the main body from the cab. Um, yeah, the only differences that I can see is these red painted bars on the inside. But the ship on the outside, the pirate skin, um, is a little different from what they show on the website. It's a little different. It's more black. It's more black and with strips of red. You can see it here, very prominent with the red. Of course, the living quarters are down there. This is, in my opinion, one of the best designed ships in the game. One of the best designed ships in the game. This is amazing. Another tractor beam operator. So the Caterpillar, as I said, this is not really a review for the Caterpillar. This is just a look-see video. Um, the Caterpillar, oh, there's a gun rack here, yeah. Uh, the Caterpillar um, can hold 500, 575 SCU of cargo. So 575 SCU of cargo, very, very, very useful ship. Now, the, the ship recently went up in price. So in IAE, this thing went up from 295 to 330. 295 to 330. So yeah, and it will go up in price even more, guys, because this thing is super modular. So each of these rooms that you see here, so this is the main living quarters. And of course, the next section is is a cargo pod. So at the moment, it's just a cargo pod. These these four sections are just cargo pods. But they will you can be able to you can hopefully later on be able to change them. You could be able to swap them out for different things. Like you might turn one of these modules into a living living quarters. You can turn it into an armory. You can turn it I don't know into into something else. So this is module three. Yeah, the red is very prominent in this one. That's the only difference that I can see cosmetically. Module four, and then the cargo access doors on the front, which do open up. Yeah, 
So the front opens up, the sides open up as well. Yay! Now I wish this platform would drop. Like, I wish this platform would just drop down so you can drive a vehicle into here. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Drake Caterpillar Pirate Edition. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm, as I said, I'm loving, I am absolutely loving this 60 frames per second Star Citizen experience. All right, let's go ahead and close this up. Now you've got a ca catwalk that goes through the whole ship on the top. Now the side doors, as I said, open up as well. So let me go ahead and open up the side doors. Yay! <laughs> there you go. This is this is why we play Star Citizen. No other game ever will allow you to do this, have this level of detail, this level of scale. It's just unbelievable. These doors, uh, yeah, I think they open up from the top. The ones on the side open up from here. Uh, open. Open. Yeah, there you go. This thing was perfect for Xenothread. You just park one up. Uh, in fact, I did a video on that. I showed you I showed you guys in the video. You park up right next to it and you just throw in cargo from the sides. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go take it out for a spin. This thing, in my opinion, has one of the best cockpits. One of the best cockpits. Because the ship is asymmetrical, like the cockpit sits on the side, it just has a really nice, nice flying experience. This thing just screams sci-fi. This thing just screams Star Wars sci-fi type of thing with the struts, with the struts and the and the windows. Really nice ship. Really, really nice ship. Can't recommend this thing enough, guys. All right, let's go ahead and take off. Aha! I don't have my engines on. Oh, 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 guys, 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 there's something so cool here. There's something so cool that I need to show you. That's why I had the engines turned off. So watch this. So let me go ahead and just slightly just take off. Aha. You guys see something? Look at all the dust that we're kicking up. Just hold on, hold on. Let me retract the landing gear. Look at that. Look at the thruster effects blowing on the ground. Look, look at the leaves that were blowing off these plants. <laughs> look at the dust storm that we've created, guys. We should be visible from like 20 kilometers away. Holy heck. So just before I started the video here, guys, I was on top of a mountain. I was trying to land on top of the mountain to give you guys a panoramic view. And this thing, when I got closer, it was just kicking up rocks. There was like big rocks, big stones were flying everywhere. So let me get closer, let me get closer. <laughs> so at the moment, we're blowing away a lot of leaves. You guys can see it's coming off the plant. So what the thrusters do depend on what the surface area is made up of, I guess. Really nice though, this is so cool. <laughs> this is a really nice ship and this thing is just going to get better and better so as you lift off the dust stops check out that awesome thruster effect very cool insanely cool alright let's go ahead and go forward 
So as you'd expect this ship, it doesn't really maneuver well in, in space. It doesn't move around as much. Uh, it's not as maneuverable. It's just a box, really guys. It's just a it's just a large box. So this thing isn't, you know, designed to fly in atmosphere really. So you shouldn't really fly this thing in atmosphere. This thing is designed to just carry cargo in space. And that's probably where it's best uh, best at, right? You should you should just probably just stay in space. You can't come down to inside an atmosphere, but if you get caught, like if you get attacked here in this thing, you're at a severe disadvantage. You're at a severe disadvantage. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Drake Caterpillar Pirate Edition. The only difference between this, as I said, and a normal Drake Caterpillar is just the skin, which I really like. This thing looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching uh, the Drake Caterpillar Pirate Edition. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Do you want this ship? Do you have one? Are you planning to buy one? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care and bye-bye.